Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is January the 29th, 2021. Let's talk boxing. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let's be clear, as clear as I can be. The WBA heavyweight belt right now is a mess, right? It's a mess. Understand, Anthony Joshua is the super champion for the WBA at heavyweight, right? Super champion. In 2017, Manuel Char was inspired, had one of his better fights against Alexander Ustinov. And Char won the WBA Heavyweight Championship, right? It's very important because understand, we have a guy who won the belt in the ring. For those who want to find out more about Manuel Char, I've put highlights of the Ustinov fight in my favorites folder here on YouTube, right? So just understand, in the ring, Manuel Char won the fight, right? 2017. He hasn't lost since, right? Well, understand the winner was supposed to fight Frez Okendo, right? By the way, Manuel Char hasn't fought since. Maybe that's one of the problems. But understand that Frez Okendo was supposed to fight the winner of Char versus Ustinov. Now, Okendo himself hasn't fought for several years and is now 47 years old. Well, that Manuel Char Fred Okendo fight never happened, folks. Right? Never happened. Now, somehow, and I'm not sure how exactly this unfolded. The interim champion, Trevor Bryant, who became the interim by beating BJ Flores, right, in 2018, is set to fight Bermain Stavern, who has not won since 2015. I'm not making this up, right? And who was stopped by KO, by Deontay Wilder, and by TKO, by Joe Joyce in his last two fights. Somehow, they're fighting for the WBA Heavyweight Championship. Think about that. The WBA Heavyweight Championship this weekend. In other words, the people who follow boxing are wondering what's going on. According to reports, Manuel Char wanted to come to the United States to fight Trevor Bryant, but he needed a signed contract to do so. And somehow, in a regulated sport. He never got the signed contract. So they're going to be lawsuits. But here's the important part. Did you know that the WBA champion, the winner of this fight between Bermain Stavern, again, who has not won a fight since 2015 and who's been stopped in his last two fights, and Trevor Bryant, a guy who I'm going to call protected, in my opinion, here online. Right? Understand, four fights ago, Trevor Bryant, who many of you have never heard of, fought a guy, Sandy Soto, who had lost at least his last six fights and who had a record of two wins and 20 losses. I encourage people to look up Trevor Bryant's record on BoxRec.com. 
Understand he follows that fight up. And keep in mind, that's the fight he had. In fact, three fights ago, right? Three fights ago, not even four fights, three fights ago. He follows that up by fighting a guy named Francois Russell, who had a record of two wins and 24 losses and had lost at least his last six fights. Somehow, based on wins over those two guys, he got to fight B.J. Flores in an elimination match for the WBA interim world heavyweight title. Right now, I don't say this lightly. I'm going to be critical of the sport here. Right? Isn't it clear to you, just based on what I've said, a guy fighting back-to-back -back guys where the best record between the back-to-back -back guys was two wins and 20 losses somehow is maneuvered into an elimination match, right, for the WBA World Heavyweight title. In fact, because he beat B.J. Flores, he is the interim WBA World Heavyweight title holder. Now the question is, and I'll just be polite here, I'm just giving my opinion. Does the fighter own the title? Or is this really a position in sports controlled by the promoters? I'll leave that up to you. But what you need to know is that Trevor Bryant apart from the B.J. Flores fight, has not beaten a guy with a winning record since 2016. You heard that right. Bermain Stavern hasn't beaten anybody since 2015. And they're somehow fighting for the title Manuel Char won in the ring in 2017. And, of course, Fred Okendo, who was supposed to fight the winner of Char Ustinov, isn't fighting anybody. Folks, it's ludicrous. For me to call this a legitimate world heavyweight title match would be an insult to hardcore boxing fans. Hell, it's an insult to casual boxing fans. Right? Well, let me just say this. In the fight, remains to Vern, who has one of the hardest punches in the heavyweight division, certainly has a puncher's chance. Right? Bryant, who there are films here online of him sparring with Jarrell Miller. Right? Bryant apparently does spar with legitimate fighters. Uh, in practice for fights, right? I believe Trevor Bryant should win this fight because Trevor Bryant can move. Remains to Vern is a potted plant in the ring, right? Joe Joyce was able to move a little bit against Remains to Vern, riddle him with jabs, and blow him out. I believe Stavern, who's in his 40s now, right? Think about that. Hasn't won since 2015 and yet is fighting for a major title. I believe Stavern, at this stage of his career, has a problem with any foot speed, right? The timing is gone. I believe unless an opponent falls asleep at the wheel, and allows Stavern to slowly get close enough to him to hit him with big shots, that opponent should be able to win on his back foot. Right? The bet I'm recommending here, well, the outcome, I believe, is Trevor Bryan to win the fight. He's less known than Stavern, right, who was heavyweight champion at one point. Trevor Bryan to win the fight. Hedgewood's Stavern 
by stoppage. I believe Stavern only has a puncher's chance in this one. But for those of you who, you know, think I'm blowing smoke when I say Maris Breedis has a shot at the heavyweight title, what I want you to consider is the fact that Maris Breedis KO'd Manuel Char. That fight's here on YouTube. Breedis, the cruiserweight, went up to heavyweight and KO'd Manuel Char before Manuel Char went on to win the WBA heavyweight championship over Alexander Ustinov. Right? Think about that. Breedis, too fast, too mobile for Manuel Char. Manuel Char has lost when he steps up against higher caliber competition. He lost to Vitaly Klitschko. He lost to Johan Duopis. He lost to Alexander Povetkin. But just understand, Maris Breedis beat Manuel Char. Right? If if these shenanigans weren't happening, where guys who haven't fought for years and who are in their 40s aren't somehow jumping the line, I believe Maris Breedis would have had a decent chance of winning the WBA heavyweight title. Let's go one step further. I would take Maris Breedis in a heartbeat over Trevor Bryant. Right? Breedis is an elite fighter who fights people with heartbeats, not guys who are 2 and 20. Right? Again, of Trevor Bryant's last three fights, and the boxing press should be outraged. Whatever happens in this fight, some member of the boxing media at the press conference needs to say to Trevor Bryant, do you believe that you should be ranked ahead of the Otto Valens of the world, of the Derek Chisoras of the world, right, of any former champion, Mike Tyson, David Hay, do you believe you should be ranked ahead of them when in two of your last three fights you fought guys who were 2-20 and 20 and 2-24. and 24. Right, so this fight, just hear me clearly, this fight is an embarrassment to the sport. The fact that if Trevor Bryant wins this fight, he'll become a mandatory for Anthony Joshua's Super WBA title is simply preposterous. Worse yet, the fact that these sanctioning bodies are watering down their own titles by slicing them up, right? Okay, Anthony Joshua's a WBA champion. Then they say, no, he's not. He's the super champion. So then you say, okay, well, well, who's the regular WBA champion? And then they insult you by naming guys like Trevor Bryan. Then they insult you further by saying, oh, he's fighting Bermain Stavern. And you're thinking, well, doesn't a fighter have to do something to be ranked? Don't you have to do something to be in the top 10? How is any fighter who hasn't won since 2015 in the top 10 of any major sanctioning body in the heavyweight division? Well, folks, this is boxing. Unfortunately, it's happening. This fight is exhibit number one. It's an outrage. Now, all of that said, we're gamblers, right? While people in the sports book are betting on relevant sporting events, hey, if the casino's giving away money here, I'll be the casino's huckleberry. I expect Trevor Bryant to win this fight. I'll hedge the play with Bermain Stavern by stoppage. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.